Hello friends, welcome to a new vlog. You may be a little surprised to hear my voice. Some time has passed since I last spoke in my video. I hope it will be a nice surprise. I don't know exactly why I decided to use my voice again. Maybe because of the weather. After weeks of gloomy skies and rain, the sun came out and everyone's spirit lifted. I usually eat my breakfast in the kitchen, but last Saturday, when the sun suddenly appeared, I had to eat at my DIY table in the room, in a more elegant way. I had baked croissants the day before, and it made perfect sense to have a French breakfast on Saturday. There are many variations of a French breakfast, but the basics are the same. Bread, butter, jam, and coffee or tea. You can add an egg or orange juice, but that is optional. In Ireland, in one of my office jobs, I worked with a girl from France. She said that the only breakfast she had was a croissant with butter and jam followed by coffee, like her mother and her grandmother. So that was the kind of breakfast I had on Saturday. Even though Saturday is a working day for me, as you know, I'm working on my second YouTube channel, at least on weekends. I try to put more effort into preparing breakfast. As I ate my French breakfast, I felt like I was sitting in a Parisian cafe. The sun was capricious and disappeared for a few moments, but it didn't spoil the mood. It was French breakfast time with Parisian vibes. The time after breakfast was a working time. During breaks, I would make coffee or matcha latte. There was a time when I drank a lot of matcha latte every day. Now, I drink it 3-4 times a week when I work long hours in front of the computer. Making matcha is a ritual in itself. It's recommended that you drink it warm. And I try to drink it warm. With coffee, I often finish it drinking cold because I tend to forget that I have it on my desk. When I drink a matcha latte, I enjoy the taste, but at the same time I think about what I'm working on. At the moment I'm focusing on my second YouTube channel. To make a matcha latte, I use unsweetened soy milk. The way I make it is the way I learned a long time ago when I lived in Dublin. There was a health food shop that served it exactly this way. First a little water, boiled but not boiling, at about 80 degrees. The rest of the cup, warm, unsweetened soy milk. Matcha latte has many benefits. For me, as a YouTube creator who spends so much time working, shooting, writing, editing, Two are the most important. First, matcha latte gives you energy for three, six hours. I can say for me it's about three hours. Second, it keeps you calm and focused. Whenever I have a long working day, my body craves matcha latte more than coffee. And you know, I love coffee.
Other things need my attention too, like vacuuming and laundry. But I always try to add something nice to the day. It could be coffee or flowers, or even better, both. I try to buy flowers every week. I think they make the room smile. In the summer, I often bring flowers that I have picked in the fields during walks with the girls. Speaking of my girls, yes, they need some attention too, and food, and snacks, and some exercise, especially for Nala and Yuma. Today I will take them for a walk around the area, tomorrow I will take them into the forest. And this is a piece of wood that was given to me. I love it, but I cannot decide what to do with it. Maybe I will make a tray, a small table or maybe a candle holder. I will have to sleep on it. For lunch, I made tortilla wraps. I like food that is quick and easy to prepare. For wraps, I always use whatever I have on hand. So on Saturday, it was hummus, tomato, radish and vegan red cheddar. Unfortunately, I forgot to buy tofu. I forgot to put it on the shopping list. These things happen. So there was no tofu. I must remember next time. With tofu, it would be more nutritious. I do my best to clean the kitchen after cooking, baking or eating. That way, the next time I'm in the kitchen to make something, I start with a clean place. I also apply this rule to my desk. It helps me to be more productive. Time for a walk. It's 4.15 pm and the sun has started to set. It will be dark in an hour or so, but the days are getting longer again. Thank you. 
It's 5.30 p.m. The sun has gone to sleep. I spend the rest of the day editing videos. And tomorrow is forest day. It's a sunny Sunday. Perfect day for a forest trip. Okay, first of all, before visiting the forest, I make some coffee and put it in a thermos. This is a tradition. Coffee in the forest. And it has to be a soy latte, so I can share the last sips with Nala and Yuma. Now, I'm ready for the forest. We all love the forest. But first, we have to drive 17 kilometers to get there. Time in the forest is time to relax. I mean, for me, the girls get super excited every time we go there. And yes, there is a coffee time and the girls get the last sips of my coffee. This is also a tradition. The first thing after getting home is to make dessert and coffee. My latest obsession is Greek-style lactose-free yogurt with ground almonds and a bit of chocolate. After the forest, I like to sit in front of my computer with coffee and something delicious and go through photos and footage. I like to sort everything right after downloading to keep my computer organized. Being organized helps to be more efficient and productive, and this is what helps me with my work.
while the download is in progress, I enjoy my dessert and coffee. And also write some thoughts to share with you in my next vlog. Thank you for spending time with me. See you next time.